Hello everyone, this is Jerry from Chalk and Ink Your Way. Happy Sunday evening. I hope you've had a wonderful day. I was able to spend some time outside this afternoon. I got my um, gravity chair, my, sorry, my anti-gravity chair, I guess it's called. And I took it outside and I sat and had a really, really nice afternoon outside. Um, so now I just want to quickly show you the um, Welcome Star Transfer. And I've seen it done on cutting boards. Now this is the Chalk Couture cutting board. I'm not going to be using this one today because the ones I have in stock actually belong to customers. I do have some on order, but that is the one I have. This one is a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger, um, but for the same, I can use it for the same purpose. Um, probably about a year and a half ago, when I started Chalk Couture, um, I also saw some paint pouring being done, and I bought all the, my friend and I bought all the, the um, pouring medium and the paints and all that. So I went out and I bought um, ceramic tiles. Well, didn't use the paint pouring medium. It's still downstairs. And so is the box of ceramic tiles. I have some six by six, but I also have some four by four. And I thought this transfer would fit almost on the tile. What I thought I would do is do the the um, star square on the tile, do the welcome, probably below it, because once I fasten this onto the cutting board, I can use it as a cheese board. And I just ordered some cheese knives um, from Amazon and they were coming 23rd or 24th, which I believe is very, very soon. So I will have this board ready for my VIP sale on Friday. Anyway, I want the image to be permanent on this tile. So if I used chalk ink, you could never, or sorry, if I used the chalkology paste on it, yes, it would it would work if I didn't want to wash it. But if I want to wash it as a cheese board, um, one that would be washed by hand, not put in a dishwasher, because I don't think the wood would um, stand up in the in the dishwasher. Now the chalk couture ones are are decorative. Um, but I think you could use the same, the same thing. So I'm going to use the Chalkology ink. I only have a little bit of black left in this jar. I have another jar, but it should be enough to do what I'm doing. Then I have some buffalo plaid ribbon. I have some big buffalo plaid. And I have some smaller buffalo plaid. I'm not quite sure what I'll use. Maybe a combination of the two. Um, but I also have to find a way to attach the cheese knife to the um, cutting board. Anyway, I'll figure that one all out. So right now, our transfers come wrapped in plastic. On the back of every transfer bag, there is instructions on how to use the transfer and how to clean it. It's in English and in French, and there are pictures. Um, with our new transfers, they recommend that you don't soak them. Um, so you don't put them in a, a, a bin of water. You just take them to the sink and you um, wash them right away. Okay, so this is the welcome star square.
And this is the welcome from the welcome star square. Okay, so I've put that on there so that I know which transfer goes on which um, backer sheet. And also uh, that because the backer sheets are glossy on one side, you don't want to put it on the wrong side because that will, paper might stick or come off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take off the welcome part. And I'm just gonna leave this over to the side for a second. Now this is brand new transfer. So in order to make sure that my transfer um, doesn't pull up any of the wood surface and that it doesn't stretch the transfer when I take it off, I'm just fuzzing it. You can fuzz it on our fuzzing cloth. The fuzzing cloth has terry on one side and velour on the other side. I like the velour side for um, drying the transfer. You can use a towel. You can use a kitchen towel or, or a bathroom towel or in a pinch you could use your clothing. Now the reason you want to fuzz is so that it's not quite as sticky. Now if you find that you want the transfer to be stickier again when you use it, wipe the back of it with a Clorox or a Lysol wipe. Not a baby wipe because baby wipes have lanolin in them, but the Clorox or Lysol wipes rejuvenates the adhesive. Same kind of trick as if you're using Cricut mats and you want to make sure that they're sticky again. So I'm just going to place the welcome, try to center it, and make sure that there is no air bubbles because the silk screen is where the paste or the ink will go through onto your surface. If there's an air bubble, the ink or paste won't go in the right way. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure I have enough here. I've not yet had to um, water down my inks. I have had to water down the paste, but not my inks. So you just put the ink on the surface. Now, if I was going to be washing this in a dishwasher or something, I would have to probably seal it because um, wood is not something that you can heat set. So I've taken the excess ink off. There it is on my transfer. So I'm just going to pull it off. And there you go. It's on there. I'm just going to put this aside to dry um, so that I can put the ribbon on when I finish, um, hopefully before I finish the live. Okay, so yesterday I did the transfer backwards. I um, put it on the table, fuzzed it, and then put the surface on, but because this is a small surface and a small transfer. I don't have to do that. So I'm fuzzing my transfer on the fuzzing mat. And then I'm going to put the transfer Now, I sh probably should have cleaned the surface with rubbing alcohol before I I did it. So if you're going to do a glass surface or um, metal surface or Anything other than wood, um, I would clean it with rubbing alcohol. Um, I didn't with this one, but... Okay, so this transfer is not going to fit totally on. So I'm just going to try to center it as best as possible. That That's not going to... I'm going to center it the best I can, is what I meant to say. 
not the best as possible. Anyway, as you can see, there's some bubbles in the transfer. I don't want that. So I have to take the transfer up again and put it back down. Because if there are bubbles in the transfer, the chalk paste or the chalk ink is not going to um, go nicely. Especially where the silk screen is. Now, um, these transfers, our new transfers, um, are a repeating pattern. So if I had a larger surface and I wanted to put, say, three across or four across, I could just line the transfer up and the tran and it would repeat. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of the ink that's in the lid and I'm just going to ink that. Again, just making sure that the ink goes wherever the silk screen is. And I can take it off again if I have too much. Okay, I want to make sure that it gets right to the edge, although the image is not right to the edge of the tile, I really want it to go as far as I want, as far as it can. Now, once I'm done with this, I have to let it dry, preferably overnight, and then to heat set this particular thing, just like glass or other ceramics, you can uh, turn your kitchen oven on to um, 350 degrees and turn it off, like preheat it to that, turn it off, and then put your um, tile in the oven and just let it cool down. Okay, so I want to be careful not to stretch the transfer as I'm pulling it off. So there you go. There it is on the tile. Transfer sticking to my fingers. I have, I have this one, or I have this one, and I'm thinking that probably um, that one might look pretty, so I'm just going to cut the end of this one. You know what? I'm going to use both of them. And I'll show you how. I'm just going to take this one here and I'm going to squeeze together for a tail. And then I'm going to Take probably about four inches and squeeze together here. And take another four inches and squeeze it together and bring it to this way. And then I'm going to take the smaller buffalo plaid and I'm just going to use that to tie And I'm going to cut this one. So 
So you get the idea. And I just have to, I probably should have put a piece of twine in before I tie that. Because I want to be able to tie it onto the cutting board. Right? So I'm just going to put a piece of twine in the back here. So that I have a way to attach my bow. So there's the bow, and then the square is going to go inside of there with a pattern on it. And then I'm going to attach the, um, the knife to it. So there's a really, really cool gift that you could give, um, and it doesn't take very long to do. So I'm going to go and wash my trans... Thank you very much for watching me. I really appreciate it. Um, if you see this in replay, let me know. Also, um, if you like what you've seen, comment, like, comment, and sprinkle. Um, I told you last night what sprinkle means. Um, so that more people get to see this. If you want any information about... Um, purchasing or about the Club Couture or about joining my VIP group, please let me know in the comments or message me directly. Thank you very much and have a good evening.